grand. So that's 300 and odd for seven at the close. Um, I'm sure you probably would have been hoping for something a bit better when the decision was made to put Yorkshire in. That set at 202 for one. It's a serious fight back. Yeah, I think we're 2-1 down in sessions, aren't we? Fair play to them. I thought Lythe and uh, Finley Bean at the start were very good and obviously Shah Massoud, three high quality players. They won the first two sessions, but yeah, like you say, we had some good fight back and we're we're right in this game, I think, win the toss and ball, stick them in uh, on a green pitch again. Yeah, we probably expected uh, a little bit more than that, but that's the game. What about the bowling unit? Um, obviously, the, the feeling may be that could they be made to play a little bit more, perhaps in that first session in particular? Yeah, possibly. I mean, look, you know, we've got Jack White back in the game, which is, is always a bonus. He felt his way in a little bit, bless him, and he got better and better as the day went on. Sando, I mean, can't fault Sando, he's been a machine. We've got seven games out of Sando, which probably won too many. Um, but he just keeps trucking in all day. I thought Procky was superb today um, in all of his spells, and I thought Sid, Sid was probably not quite his best in his first spell, and then changed the game with those two wickets after tea. So, and then Brody got the early breakthrough, and he bowled, he bowled pretty well in parts. So on the whole, I don't think we've bowled badly. I don't think we've had a bad day. A um, couple of decisions, I think. We might have just gone our way. Um, missed stumping and drop catch, which nobody means to do. So, look, you know, fair play to them. But it could have been very different. Fine margins at this level sometimes. And, uh, yeah, I think we probably probably just lost that 2-1. Just a word about Luke Proctor, because you look at his bowling figures in cold statistics, they're not massively impressive in Championship cricket. But I think those of us lucky enough to have seen every ball would feel that those three wickets today are a little bit of reward and not overdue reward. Absolutely, he's been superb for us all year as Proc. We know what we're going to get. He's 100 percent, and he, you know, he's deserved more than his, his stats suggest, as you say. But that's the game. Sometimes, sometimes you can bowl well and not get your rewards. Other, other days, you can not bowl as well and pick up wickets. But again, that's that's the game. What about the surface? Um, obviously, as you say, green early on. The hope, presumably, that has he got a bit of sun on it? It's going to be better to bat on when uh, it's Northamptonshire's turn to bat on it. Yeah, we felt that the best way of getting in front of the game was to to stick them in, to bowl. Uh, we've left 13 mils of grass on it, live grass, to encourage some pace and carry like we have done pretty much all year. Um, and again, we just didn't quite get the rewards on another day. They could quite have been quite easy have been two or three down earlier than we've then we're right on the front foot but credit to those guys I thought Lai they played beautifully uh, done what he's done for many years but look that's the game ideally the sun stays out tomorrow and we we make a whatever we bowl them out for in the end we've got to we've got to bat past them and then put them under some pressure day three um, it would have been nice to have had them all out today at some point or certainly earlier wickets but again that's what happens Quick word about Rafi Weatherall, because we know we talked about him at, at Derby and doing some exams, but back in the squad for this one. The exams finished now? Exams are finished. They finished yesterday. Um, so he finished and then he trained with us yesterday. Uh, and he was close to playing this game, but, uh, you know, having Jack White back, he uh, he got the nod. But, yeah, look, Rafi's, Rafi's finished his exams. He's a huge prospect, huge potential, and I'm sure he'll get some cricket, we'll get some cricket out of him between now and the end of the season. Why have we got you with us, uh, Sad? Just a word about the T20. Obviously, we see uh, in the lunch interval and tea intervals some of the bowlers that are going to be obviously involved in that competition, having a little run out in the middle there. How's it shaping up? Yeah, good. We've had a little bit of second team cricket as well. So uh, obviously, Willow and Ravi's been around for that. They've been involved with a lot of practice, which is which is great. I mean, it's an exciting time. Uh, a two-day turnaround, so we finish on Monday night, and then we, you know, got a couple of days of practice, and then we're in, into it on Thursday. So it is a tight one. But the lads who aren't playing first team have been just trying to get their white ball skills up to speed for a couple of weeks now. Um, been playing a little bit of second team, and then we'll, like I say, we'll have a couple of good days of practice. But it's always an exciting time. That change in format bring, naturally brings a different energy for all of us. But we've got uh, we've got three big days in this in this game before we can focus on that. It's always an exciting time, but uh, yeah, we've got three big days. But all supporters uh, ahead of the T20 will have their own thoughts on what the team should be yeah. for Thursday. Um, competition for places. Yeah, we've said it all year. That, I mean, there's going to be as there have been in these games. There's going to be a couple of people who deserve to be playing who are going to get left out. That's it's always a nice, healthy headache to have, isn't it? As a as a coach, as a captain, making those calls, and when you're picking a team, you try and balance it. Um, but yeah, that's a good place to be.